Well, these days, internet access is a necessity for most of us, but tens of thousands of Mainers struggle to get and maintain that access. So a federal program that helps offset internet costs is set to expire come spring. New Center Maine's David Guildford heard from advocates today who say Congress must act or risk leaving our most vulnerable neighbors cut off. As part of 2021's federal bipartisan infrastructure law, the Affordable Connectivity Program, or ACP, works to deliver internet access to low-income households, but its funding runs out in April. It's essential that we get the bill passed before the end of April so that there is no gap in service. The program offers up to $30 a month toward internet service. 95,000 Maine households utilize it. A bipartisan bill in both chambers of Congress aims to extend the program. What we have over here is a societal question, a societal responsibility. Karim Durdig is CEO of GWI, a leading rural internet service provider. He said internet is a human right. But when they are on, they have access to a way of life. They're able to access telehealth services, whereas for mental health reasons, even maternal health reasons. Their kids are able to do homework. The program offers up to $75 a month for qualifying tribal homes. They face time with their children. They face time with their families. Um, they telehealth with their doctors. Evelyn Louie is a tribal digital navigator and Passamaquoddy member who explained how many of the rural Mainers she works with had no devices, no email account, no connectivity before this program. They're like, oh no, what's going to happen? Um, this program is going to end. Um, what what can we do? Mia Purcell works for Community Concepts, which serves Oxford, Franklin, and Androscoggin counties. All of this work that, that is being done and has been done over the years is all to narrow the digital divide. And this expands the digital divide. Three members of Maine's congressional delegation told us Thursday they plan to co-sponsor the bill. Senator Collins negotiated the original program and supports its extension, but is not co-sponsoring this latest bill. David Guilford, New Center, Maine.